Okay, getting started with the Raspberry Pi SDR setup script. Uh, this is on GitHub. GitHub is uh, basically a global kind of version control system. It uses a program called Git. And uh, this is m my repository and the scripts to get set up on the Raspberry Pi. This is the URL that you need or the actual main URL up top here. You can copy that URL. If you were on your Raspberry Pi in the desktop, you can go to your applications menu and find the terminal. You'll open up a terminal and we'll get something that looks similar to this. Basically, what we'll want to do is type cd. That should, by default, already be there, but we'll be at our home directory. Uh, we'll want to make sure that we have git installed. So git is the program that we use for GitHub. So we will type in sudo space apt hyphen get space install space git. Now what this will do is it will get the Pi to have super user access. It will run apt-get which is our package manager essentially. It will install git. You'll need the internet connected to do this. And it's just making sure that we have git installed. I have git installed here. Once you've done that, it'll come back to a prompt. And you'll be able to download or clone the repository from GitHub. So we will go git space clone. And at this point, we can paste in our link, or type in our link, https colon slash slash github.com slash america slash rpi underscore sdr underscore setup dot git. When we type and enter that, it will clone the repository into a folder rpi sdr setup. So at this point, we want to change directories into, sorry, into rpi uh, SDR setup. So I typed that rather quickly there. Um, most systems will have tab completion. So if you type CD RPI tab, it will probably complete that because you don't have anything else named RPI in your home directory. Uh, maybe you do, but if you hit tab, it'll save you some some typing. At this point we'll hit enter and now we are in the RPI SDR setup directory. If we ls, which basically lists the directory, we have a readme, we have setup.sh and test.sh. To run the setup, we'll run setup.sh we do this with a dot slash in the front of it. So dot slash setup dot sh. That basically tells it run it in this directory. Um, the, the, the period says do it here, essentially. So when we run that, it'll run through the setup on the Raspberry Pi to get the RTL all ready to go. This is not on a Pi and I'm running experimental drivers on this machine, so I don't quite want to do that. Um, I'm going to show another way doing this through PuTTY remotely. Um, I don't have a desktop set up on my Raspberry Pi, so I, I wanted to explain it this way. You'll run setup. At the end of it, it'll ask you to reboot. So at that point, plug in a dongle and hit yes, and it'll reboot. When it comes back up, 
So if we cancel out of here, if we reset here, we'll just pretend that this is a reboot. So here we've rebooted uh, and we've opened up a new terminal and now we're back at our home directory. We're going, once it's rebooted, when the dongle's plugged in, we're going to CD back into this RPI. I've got to do the underscore for my tab completion here. RPI SDR setup. We'll hit enter. Now we'll run the dot slash test tab dot sh. At this point, it'll tell us whether we have the dongle connected or not, if it's a pass or fail. Uh, it'll ask you to connect a dongle when you're ready to test hit enter. So I'm gonna hit enter. It was a fail, it didn't get detect any gain reports back from the dongle. And it listed out my USB devices. Just so if you do have any problems, you can copy and paste that and no supported devices found. So that was the problem with this. If I connected my uh, RTL to this machine, it would probably pass. Uh, so run those two setups. If we get a test pass, then I can probably, well, you'll be on page with everybody else. You'll need to look into the uh, TCP and that kind of stuff. But I can run through uh, auto starting RTL, TCP, and that kind of stuff as well but that'll make sure that the dongle's installed and that it either works or doesn't. So, there you go. Okay, we've done the one in the terminal on the Pi, and now we're gonna actually go to your normal computer, uh, make sure the Pi is still connected to the internet. Uh, this is just an alternative way to do things if you wanna do this remotely. Uh, this is a program called Putty. You can Google P-U-T-T-Y. Uh, you can download putty.exe. There's a chance with all the other stuff you've already been doing, you already have putty. But uh, if you open putty, uh, it looks pretty much the same on Linux, so that's why I chose it. Uh, you want to have the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Generally, it'll tell you in the shell when it boots up, or you may be able to go into the network manager and find out what the IP address is. My IP is 192.168.0.20. I want to make sure my port is 22 and I want to make sure that my protocol is SSH. I will open that up. Uh, the first time it connects, it's going to ask you if you want to accept uh, the authentication or the, the security certificate essentially. Um, accept that. And then it will ask you to log in uh, by default. The login is pi and the password is raspberry. And my pi auto launches a bunch of stuff because I'm running the Artilizer stuff I was working on last night. So by default, they just log in, give you probably the message of the day, and leave you at one of these prompts here. So now we're basically at the same point we were when we opened up the terminal on, on the desktop. Uh, we can get clone and my paste in putty doesn't work here very well so we're just gonna type in this URL manually https colon slash slash github dot com slash america slash rpi underscore sdr underscore sorry battery ran out so git clone https github.com america rpi setup sdr setup dot git when we clone that it already exists so i've already done this it shouldn't say that we'll make a new directory here just because uh it'll complain at me until I do and we'll change into directory test 2 and we'll run this again uh, the up and down arrows will allow you to go up and down through previous commands just as a tip so there is my git clone we will run the git clone and it'll clone into rpi sdr setup 
Now we will change directory into rpy sdr setup. That was a tab complete there. And there's the setup test.sh. We will run setup. And it's going to do its thing. and it's ready for a reboot. So at this point, I'm not going to reboot. Everything's already been installed once. And we're going to run test. I do have a dongle connected at this point. We'll see if my test passes. And there we go, test pass. Congratulations, working as a normal user and you're ready to rock. Uh, below is the information about the dongle, so there's my dongle information, the supported gain values, and you should be ready to go. If I, uh, again, we'll try and see if this works without crashing the Pi. Oh, I think I may have crashed the Pi. If the crash happens, yeah. I've got a... Oh, it was probably because the internet came with the dongle. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, we're back. So we'll run test.sh with no dongle. And yes. And no nope, test fail, no dongle connected. So test does appear to be working. Setup all appears to be working. Give it a go. If you need to connect remotely, you can do that with Putty. If you need to do it on the desktop, you can do it in a terminal on a desktop. Again, not too hard. If you have any questions or any of this is really still too confusing for you, Tom, let me know. Um, try to explain it as best as I can, but again, it's, it's tough. And it's also tough when you may not know what, uh, what you have a hard, time, a hard time with. So let me know if that all makes sense. Let me know how you get going with it. And yeah. Okay, so let's just do a quick little look and see what actually my script is doing here. Um, right off the bat, we're going to give it basically an interpreter. Bash is what this script runs in. Um, when you use the dot slash setup dot sh, it doesn't need to use bash in front of the actual script name to know what program it's going to use. It's going to look at the first line, the shebang, and it's going to determine that, okay, we're going to use bash to interpret the rest of this. This is setting permissions to test.sh. We want it to be executable. So we chmod plus permissions to execute dot slash test.sh. Um, GitHub should carry the permissions over, but that was just there in case it didn't. Um, we'll change to the home directory. Make sure that we have some essential libraries that need to do all this stuff. Um, we will git clone the RTL SDR repository. We'll change into that repository. We'll make a build directory. We'll move into that build directory. And then we'll start configuration then we will make the program. So this will probably take a little bit of time on the Pi. And once that's done, it will install it globally. And configure the libraries, link them all up, that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll do a re restart of UDEV, although I do believe that these should be swapped. I may have to fix that. Maybe not. Um, this should install the UDEV rules and then um, basically that allows your dongle to have permissions as a non-root user. And due to Linux having drivers for this dongle built in, um, we want to blacklist that driver and use the RTL driver instead. So we'll blacklist the built-in one and then we'll give you a prompt that we're ready to reboot. So 
really that's about it. Nothing malicious in there. Um, let me know if there's any updates you want. I'll run through the test here. Test just uh, waits for you to connect the dongle and hit yes or no. Uh, when it when you hit yes, it runs RTL test and looks or uses grep to look for a gain value. If it gets a value, then we fail. Or sorry, if it doesn't get a value, then we fail. If it uh, gets a value, then we pass. And it's really as simple as that. I'm listing RTL test and LSUSB there just so that uh, more information comes out. So that's a little more information on how it all works and what it's doing.